What is up guys? Flames3062 here with another vlog. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my motorized bicycle that I did a review on, go ahead and uh, be sure to check that out. Um, today I bring another in-depth review of another toy I bought. Um, first, take a guess what it is. I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you should have bought it or, you know, or, you know. Everybody makes fun of it, but you know what? I don't care. I got it for a good deal. I bought it to piss around with, play with. So, take a guess what it is. Ha! <laughs> That's right, guys. <clears throat> it's a 50cc scooter. Like I said, I bought this bad boy for 275 It was worth it. Um, I mainly bought it just to piss around around here. It's not really, it's not really legal. Uh, I didn't come with a title, but who gives a shit? I mean, as you can see, I just cruise around the back roads like I was doing with my motorized bicycle in my previous video. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked that out, remember to check that out. Uh, if you guys want to watch it now, go ahead and pause this video. And uh, without further ado, let's let's uh, let's get started. So as of right now, <clears throat> it's in pretty good shape for its age. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's only got. How much miles does it? It's got about a little, a little over 1,300 miles. So, I mean, it's it's still in pretty good shape for its age. And my dumb ass one, one night lost a mat for it, so I have to get a new mat for it. Um, other than that, I mean, this thing runs really good still. Uh, the only thing I really had to do to it was take the carburetor off and clean it up a little bit because there's a little bit of dirt in it. So it was like making it run rough um I'm, i'll tell you the story on, on how i even got this thing in a, in a second but uh other than that actually i already had it <laughs> off road in a little bit so it's a little muddy but other, other i mean overall and it, it's in good shape but uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story so what happened was i was at a, um um a swap meet um last weekend and this guy I was was walking past down the aisle um, and I seen a for sale sign on the front of the scooter and uh, he goes he wants 400 bucks for it and I said uh, what's your what's your best offer because I'm not I mean I said four hundred dollars is a little steep on my end so he said well it runs good and uh, we'll st I can I can start it up for you he says so he he starts it up the damn bitch wouldn't start. <laughs> so I was like, ah, price is getting lower and lower, bud. And uh, he was like, well, I just, I, I just, I was just riding it not too long ago, or this morning, in the, in the, in the area, and it ran great. And uh, well, that there, I kind of, I kind of thought he was lying because I, I didn't really see, I didn't see proof that he was riding around because this was a three-day event. I was up there for three days, so. <clears throat> Long story short, he goes, uh, well, come back within an hour, and, uh, well, I actually said, since it doesn't run, I will give you 275 right now for it, and he says, uh, all right, well, come back in an hour, and we'll go from there, and if I can't get it running, you can have it for 275 <laughs> Well, guess what? I went down, I went back down to the guy where he's selling a scooter, didn't get it running. So I said, all right, buddy, 275, and I'll take it off your hands. He goes, Ugh. all right, come get it for 275. I said, well, yeah, I mean, for one thing, it doesn't run. I'm going to have to play with it and clean the carburetor out. And uh, so I did. I cleaned the carburetor out. And next thing you know, I got it running. So I'll go ahead and start up here in a little bit for you guys. But uh, yeah, long story short, he did not really like how how it didn't start on him so he kind of lost more money into it i'm like hey if i sell something and it's not running obviously i'm not going to gouge everybody i'm not going to ask the most top dollar because it doesn't run that's like rip that's like ripping somebody off you know so as of today i got the scooter and uh i did some tinkering with it cleaned the carburetor like i said um however it does need some minor things on it um but i mean what am I, I going to do? It's an 08 uh, 
I think it's a GY6. It says a Sun scooter, whatever the hell. I never even heard of it. But uh, yeah, like I said, you know, it's in good shape. The mirror's just, you know, a little, a little broke. Same with this one. The plastic's a little broke. But I mean, what am I gonna do? It's 275 bucks, like I said. So, what is it? let's get to it. I mean, of course, I had to. The guy had summer stickers on it, but you know what? Summit's pretty good. I like summit. So, I'll show you the trunk real quick, and I'll show you how much room is actually in this this bad beast. I mean, look at the space in that. And of course, the guy freaking lost the plate for the, the cover for that. So I have to, I have to figure something out for that. Um, but yeah, space is phenomenal. I'm not even joking. You can fit. I could probably fit my own helmet. If I got a helmet, I could probably fit a helmet in there easily. But uh, yeah, space is good in here. You know, I can't complain about it. The only thing I don't really like about these scooters is the freaking things. See how wobbly it is? I mean, phew. what am I going to get for a Chinese brand scooters, you know? But, uh, but yeah, that's the trunk. You, gotta, you said you got to play with it sometimes. I get the, oh, wait, the key's in the door. There we go. Sometimes it's having hard problems catching. And uh, this key here, it likes to go to anything. It goes to the seat. It goes to the gas. You just put the key in here. Twist that. And then it comes right out. But I'm not going to see it comes right out. I'm not going to bother taking it out. I don't really need to. But you guys get the idea. Um, but uh, other than that, we'll uh, go ahead and fire it up. I'll show you guys how good it runs. Yeah. Put the key in the ignition. And I gotta uh, hold on one second, guys. It's kind of hard to start this with uh, with a camera in my hand. Hold on. So I got the scooter running, and uh, like I said, it runs really good. Sometimes it has a little problem, it'll idle up and down. I don't know why it does that, but it's not doing it now, but sometimes it'll do it. But the, like I said, it's an awesome scooter. Everything works on it. Motor runs good. Nice and smooth. So, headlight, everything works on it. Headlights work. I'll show you the high beams, low beams. Turn signals, left turn signals, left turn signals down here in the front. Uh, same with the right turn signal, everything's good. Brake light's good. But the, like I said, it's a good scooter. Runs really good. I think I did a good part of you ask me. So, I, the only thing I gotta get is the, the float for here, the gas, because the gas gauge doesn't like to work half the time. But other than that, that's it, guys. That's my uh, my uh, purchase I've made. Um, and yes, I did. I did that video you said, or said the video you guys saw about that motorized bicycle I made. I did sell that. It's we went to a good home. And uh, that's what we replaced this thing right here, the scooter. So, well, guys, that's, uh, that's it for the video. Um, smack the like button if you want me to do a test drive on this thing. And I'll do a test drive on it and possibly do a top speed run. Um, without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, there will always be more to come. And uh, we'll maybe have a couple videos in the scooter. We'll do a little series on it or something. Um, but uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Till next time.